and it's recording. Okay. Here we can edit all this later. Come on in here. Okay. So we steam we're steam coating plates outside right now, but we do have some things set up in here. Now this is uh, for making GANS. GANS is uh, gas as nano state. Uh, we'll show you some already made. This is the process of making them. So this is a copper uh, scouring pad. We picked them up at the local grocery store. Uh, this has already been nano coated. Uh, it's got a couple of, uh, been about three rounds, so it's nice and black. And uh, so you can feel that it's a lot smoother too when you feel it on the wire too. Very almost velvety. Now the, we put this in a uh, saturated uh, salt mix. Some people uh, like to do a percentage. We just uh, saturate it and let whatever drops out of the water drop out. And uh, we just put it in here. And it's kind of an electrolysis process is going on here. But what's going to end up happening in the end is that it's going to uh, separate some molecules uh, from the uh, copper. And uh, between the copper and the nano coating, we're going to get a, uh, a fluffy type uh, mixture. And we don't know a whole lot about it, but we know that it has uh, energy. It has energetic values. Uh, we can put our probes in it and we'll get a uh, potential uh, voltage reading. And uh, you'll find more about on this on the uh, Keshi.org, uh, KeshFoundation.org website. So I advise you to go there to learn more. This is just a video for just showing you how to get things done. So this is uh, how we're doing this. Now some you can add electricity. Uh, some people have used uh, uh, phone chargers. Uh, others use batteries. We don't like to use batteries because it's a whole lot of throwing th uh, out things into the uh, landfill, so we're avoiding that. Uh, Don has had great success in just making GANs just by connecting the uh, two uh, wires together on either side. Uh, I'm not altogether certain what's going on there, but it's uh, given us GANs. Uh, when I make it at my place, I use a phone charger and I get uh, production that way too. Now over here is some GANs that Dawn has already made. Now you can see it almost looks like a cloud in the water. It's very, very fluffy. This is CO2 GANs. Now there's three GANs that you're going to need when you make your uh, MAGRAF. You're going to need a CO2, which is made from one nano-coated uh, uh, copper plate and a... Uh, zinc plate. Uh, we do have uh, zinc plates here. We got them uh, right here. These ones are used, but it's just basically we buy it off of a roll. It's uh, sheathing that they use on uh, roofs for uh, just ease troughs and stuff. So that's all we use there. Uh, then the second GANS that you're going to want is uh, CH3. CH3 is made uh, using a uh, iron nail, just a regular nail that you would use to hold your house together, and a nano-coated copper plate. And then the third uh, GANS that you're going to need to make is uh, CuO2, which is copper oxide GANS. That's made with a uh, bare uh, copper plate and a, uh, or sorry, not a bare copper plate, a nano-coated copper plate and a nano-coated copper plate. So it's two nano-coated copper plates put together in the uh, salt uh, water that we have there. And those are the three GANSes that you're going to need. You want to get more information on this, it's available. You can Google it on the internet. Uh, again, the website is uh, kishfoundation.org. you got to go there. There's a whole community that will help you. Everybody is on board. We're not going to get ridiculed if you don't ask a stupid question. Everybody is helpful. So bear that in mind at all times. Okay. I guess we might as well just keep it all going, eh? When you want to. Yeah. Okay. Now these are the, uh, these are the coils that uh, we made. These are for the uh, MagRav. Uh, here is one finished MagRav right here. We've got it plugged in right now. It's uh, running this light right here. So just to prove that it is, here it is going into power. Boom, it works. Goes back in. There is the light going out. 
and uh, there's power going through it but yet we don't get no shock off these wires so some curiosity there but you know that's power you can see it messing with the light when I touch it so that's pretty cool so this is our uh, so back to the making the mag rev so this is the coils that we start out with and uh, I'm going to demonstrate making one so that you can see how it's done. Okay, now, these are our two coils. They're inner and outer, okay? They go inside uh, each other like this. Now, when we start these out, we end up with a inner coil, which goes through the uh, center of this larger coil. And so we just straighten out the wires a little bit because of the way that we made these. We made these using these rods right here. And what we've done is we've actually cut them to the length that we need so that it counts off how many turns we want. For the long ones, it's going to be 144 turns. We have the shorter ones for the inside coil right here, these are 81 turns. And it's the same idea. You got a outer large coil and then a smaller uh, inner coil. And basically what we do here is we just, so that's how we measure it off anyways. So what we do here is we slip the smaller one inside the larger one. The larger one is made with a uh, 3.8 rod, and the smaller one is made with a 5.16 rod. Is that right? Yes, it is. Yep. Okay. And so, you see, they slip right inside each other. The sizes inside are pretty important. And then we just take our wire right here, and we feed it through the center. And we just keep feeding it through. And that loops it all around. Careful not to let the small one come out. It can be a pain in the butt, but you'll figure out a technique for it. I found that I pinched the wire on the end so it doesn't catch. Ah. I, I bend uh, with the pliers. Okay. And then it slides right through. So there we go. We just give that a little bend back to hold it all in there. Form it a little bit, and there we are. Done. So we're not going to bother with that one. We already got two made right here. So what I look for when I do uh, wire these up, here's my center wire coming out. And then uh, we have our, uh, so on the outside, this is what uh, we call magnetical. This is the outer wire. And the inner one is what we call gravitational. So the way I do it is I find my inner wire and I try to make sure everything is all going in a, the same direction. I try to keep one uh, below, and uh, two, or two below, two above. And it's the same thing on this side. I look for my inner wire coming through. There it is. And we just kind of separate things out a little bit. Give it some shaping. And then I just set this in here like this. And I just kind of slip these wires under. Now I take, and we just follow our map. We got the drawing right here that we use. So basically, <clears throat> I usually start on the uh, magnetical on the inner coil, and that goes to the center wire on the outer coil. And all we're doing is we're just wrapping. That's all we're doing. We're just giving it a good wrap. So, and then I just take a pair of uh, pliers that I've got here. And I just give them a nice tight wrap. Now I can do this uh, with the bare copper wire, but once I've nano coated it, I can't really use my pliers on it anymore because I'll end up taking the nano coating right off and we don't want to do that. So I know that then what I do is once I've wrapped it, I give myself about an inch and I just cut off the excess. 
Now you're going to see why I gave myself an inch here uh, in a bit. So that one's wrapped, and that's fine. Then I take and I grab my middle uh, wire, and this one is going to the inner coil, inner spring of the outer coil. And we wrap that. And again, I just make it nice and tight. And same thing again. I take and I cut off and I leave myself an inch. You just get rid of that. And then I just turn it over and I take this magnetical spring and it goes to the outer magnetical on the opposite side. And we just wrap it there. So on the Keshi uh, website, there's all kinds of uh, blueprints to uh, show you how to do this. So again, I suggest you go to the Keshi website and uh, look for the uh, any PDF documents that uh, will help you do this. Now, now, I got all these little clips. Then what we do is we've got to loop it back in upon itself. Very, very important. The plasma energy will not flow properly if you do not make these loops back in upon uh, the uh, coil. It'll just kind of, the energy will just go off into uh, infinity and it does us no good when it does that. Remember, we're trying to harvest this energy to put it to uh, practical use uh, for us in the material world. So, there. So this can be all done very quickly. Once you get practice at it, you'll find that this all goes very, very quickly. Your first one's going to go slow. Always does. Don't get discouraged. So, and then we just bend them off to the side. That's all we do here. And we bend them off to the side. Okay. Then, now that we've got this all done, now we don't need them this long. So what I've done is I do have a uh, mark on this bench. And what I've done is I cut them at different lengths. And the reason why I cut them at different lengths is so that we know what is our magnetical and what is our uh, gravitational when we go to wire this all together for the maggrav itself. So just go like that. And we loop these ones back in upon themselves as well. And it's like boom. Now there's two ways that you can nano coat uh, these coils because they have to be nano coated in order for them to work. We can do it with the uh, fire, and we have a propane torch and a uh, propane bottle for doing that. And, or you can uh, do it with the uh, steam caustic, like uh, we just showed you earlier in the video. And voila! There that didn't take long to build. No, it doesn't take long once you get uh, once you get a little bit of practice in. So that's what we ended up with, and this is where we're at. Now, we didn't film this earlier, but we end, uh, but we do after we nano coat the uh, the coils, we dip them in uh, a Gans uh, soup mix. Uh, the mix that we uh, used here is uh, pretty much 50/50 CH3. Uh, and uh, COO2 uh, uh, GANs. And we dip these about three times. And we just let them hang uh, to dry. These are uh, the rest of them that we've made. All just hanging here. We brought them in last night because it got windy. And uh, they were just drying right here. So they're all dry. So we're ready to put a maggrav together. And so that's what we're going to do next. So, I've got three coils, which is what we need to make a uh, magrav. Straightening out some wires. And now, we came up with a uh, neat little way of doing these, is we make them into, uh, we make uh, coil pucks. 
found that this is the uh, best way for us to do these and it makes it real easy to make a Magrav uh, unit. And then we just take our little zip ties. I personally, I just come up from the bottom, bring it around, loop it through this hole right here, and we just zip tie it. Super simple. This just keeps it tied to the uh, plastic for us so it doesn't get away on us. Oops, come up from the bottom. I want to try to leave these little uh, big chunks of plastic uh, on the outside. We don't want them on the inside. So, there's those ones. And then one more. I made a mistake. That happens. Never worry about uh, any mistakes as long as you're quick to correct them. Open the bottom. And then all we do is just clip off the excess. Boom, boom, and boom. And then once that's done, you just take another one. You might have to straighten out your wires a little bit just to make sure that they're all down and out of our way. And take this. somewhat organized here and we just put this through this well show them the uh the container uh open it up and oh yeah where we got those and the container we've got uh at uh, a dollar store here in canada and uh we just basically we uh, put a gans mix in here uh we'll show that later filling them up basically what we do is uh we go these are the larger container we found. They're an inch and a quarter across at the base. Okay. And uh, we needed them just for the bigger ones. We had smaller ones for doing the car magrav. So basically what we do is uh, we fill uh, up to about there with CO2 GANs. And then we fill to about here to bring in the rest of it with uh, CH3 uh, and then uh, CuO2 GANs uh, to the top. And then uh, we, ca we mix that together and we give it a, uh, we shake it all together. Uh, we also put some uh, quartz crystal in these containers as well with the GANs. And then all of this gets put together like that. And in the end what you have is you have a and we do that three times. So let's go to the next one then. You want to just pause it and uh... yeah, pause it and then we'll come back. Then how'd you screw up? You didn't have it on. I didn't have it on. You did. I did not have it on. I just went to hit it. Oh. oh fuck! No, you had it on. There it is. No, no, that that.